Okay, so in this video, I wanna to talk to you about handling conflict. Because the fact of the matter is, when it comes to business, unfortunately, conflict comes up, challenges, issues arise, and you wanna make sure you can navigate through these as smoothly and as efficiently as possible. The interesting thing, and as I share this, I'd love you to reflect Sorry, just to fix that, reflect on some of the past conflicts that you've had. These could be with family members, they could be in relationship, they could be with random strangers. And I kind of find that sometimes we, when we look back on an issue that is of the past and there isn't too much emotional charge around it, we can see things more clearly. And we can see perhaps how things unfolded as they did and where we could have navigated differently, and um, how we could have done better for ourselves. And I'm a massive believer that we have all the answers we need inside us in our life experience, and we can get so much wisdom from those life experiences. So, as a kind of a like a, a first uh, recommendation, it would be to take time reflecting on the past uh, scenarios of conflict in your life and look at them critically, like look at how you reacted and scrutinize how perhaps you could have navigated it better. Um, there is always a better way to navigate challenge and for however challenging the person that you may have been in conflict with was, there's always a way to hold the space and um, take responsibility and, and see things better. Um, Sometimes we like to get so distracted by the person that we're in conflict with that we let ourselves down. We don't show up as, as well as we could. Um, that is really, really important. Um, now, important to kind of know our instinctive reactions. And unfortunately, the norm for most humans when there is a conflict is that we want to rid the draw. And it's nice to say that that is so normal. Um, and to to express that so that you can actually self-identify, so that when you can recognize um, your, you're carrying yourself in an instinctive na nature that generally speaking doesn't, um, doesn't solve or doesn't make things better. So let's break that down. You have a conflict with somebody and you just wanna withdraw. You wanna isolate, you don't wanna talk to them. Um, and that's where our emotions really kick up and they really, really don't serve. Um, the fact is, in conflict, if you come apart for too long or in the wrong fashion, it can actually make things so much worse. Um, so notice that impulsive want to pull away and really scrutinize, is it serving? Now, a bit of a caveat, that sometimes when our emotions are flaring, it is better to withdraw but there is a way in which we can do this. We communicate with whomever it is that we're in conflict with and just say, hey, I actually notice I'm a little bit triggered or a little bit charged up by this situation and I'm not, I'm not thinking as clearly as I'd like. So if it's okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of time to unwind, to come back to myself, and then I'd love to uh, talk this through with you then when I can come at it from a more centered and a grounded place. So. That's a really, I would say, primed example of how we can manage ourselves and take the distance or the space that we might need in a time of conflict whilst respecting the other person. And that's, um, that's absolutely not what I was talking about before. What happens for a lot of people is that in conflict, they just wanna run away. They don't wanna hear about the person, they don't wanna see about the person, and they don't communicate. And in that time of distance where there isn't any clarity around the distance, issue starts to grab. And what happens is that both people in conflict will start talking to third parties, telling their side of the story. And then of course, the people that you're talking to are going to want to, are going to, want to charm you and speak to you. So they'll be like, how could they do this? And how could they say this? And that doesn't help matters. It actually starts to complicate matters because you start thinking about things in all sorts of different angles and you actually just get distracted and, and pulled away. So whew, we're covering a lot, of, a lot of stuff in this. So when it comes to conflict first, please understand that it is normal and it is part of your journey. Two, understand that your instinctive reaction to pull away is so normal 
And it may well be what you need, but there's a way of doing it. And the way of doing it is to communicate clearly. If you find yourself pulling away without that clarity, that in itself can start to cause some serious issues. The best one person to talk to in times of conflict is yourself, to really look at yourself in the mirror and really examine how you're reacting, the situation, uh, and how it can be positively um, resolved. Uh, talking to third parties in times of conflict with another can be actually complicating, um, unless that third party is very, very skilled. And in times of conflict, having a coach or a therapist to talk to can be absolutely invaluable because they will help you see your responsibility in the issue rather than charging you up all the more and making it harder for the conflict to be addressed. And I kind of touched on to my next point, which is take responsibility. Um, there's a great premise in coaching, which is that we should look to understand um, rather than be understood. And in times of conflict, we want to be understood. But the fact of the matter is, is that there's misunderstanding. And I actually really believe at the heart of it, most of us are just actually trying to do our best. Um, and in those times of misunderstanding, one person is trying to do their best, the other person is trying to do the best, and there's a, there's a miscommunication, there's a, there's a disconnect. And if we go into those conflicts trying to get the other person to understand us, well, the other person is like, no, 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 you're not understanding me, and it creates this negative. Whereas if you can almost zoom out a little bit and take a bit of a bigger picture on this one, if you can look to understand the other person ahead of your want to be understood, you will see their reality. Regardless of whether that is your reality or the reality of things, you will understand where they're at. And if you can understand where they're at, and if you can address their concerns for where they are, that will help relax them down. And as you've led by example, it opens up an opportunity for them to then engage with you and understand you because they, once somebody feels understood, they can. And from that point, they can then understand the other person. And what I find is fascinating is at that process where one, you take responsibility to understand the other person, almost immediately speaking, they look to understand you. And with that kind of thought that at the end of the day, everybody is just actually trying their best. Everybody does want to, um, to bring things to a kind of a positive resolution. Um, it actually becomes hard for a conflict not to get resolved in that instance. Um, and I, I kind of touched on this point before, but I really want to end with it as well, is that like in every conflict, in every challenge, there are amazing lessons to be learned. And the way in which you can really grasp them is by taking whole and total responsibility. So spend some good time looking at yourself in the mirror and in exa examining what's come up, why it came up, how perhaps you could have done things differently that would have actually negated the whole issue in the first place. There's some good learnings there, but then in the time of conflict and challenge, what could you have done differently to allow a smoother progression, a more positive, amicable progression? And there will be incredible wisdom for you in that exercise. And, and that's why so much of my philosophy is like, slow down. Give yourself time to connect with yourself. Meditate, journal. Take all this time out because if we do, we give ourselves times to take, sorry, time to take in all the learnings that we're experiencing in everyday life. And if we solidify those learnings, so we actually like process them and bring them into our way of being, we stop making the same mistakes twice. And when we do that, we progress to the next level. New learnings, new opportunities for growth. And the sooner we can process things and learn, the faster we grow and the faster we move towards wherever it is that we ultimately speaking want to go. Um, so that kind of that self-reflection, that uh, self-responsibility or that taking responsibility piece is the real absolute key. Um, so in finishing on this one, I just want to, like if you're watching this, no doubt you're in a level of com conflict and I just want to um, encourage you uh, through it. I encourage you to come back into connection to understand, uh, aim to understand first, um, and then you will be understood to have faith in that. 
and uh, and to really just encourage you towards the positive resolution and um, this is this is a skill that it, it it's challenging and um, it takes time to master i think all of us are all the time learning and growing in this fear but if you can lean into it it will stand to you so bloody well and i wish that for you because a life stuck in challenge and disease is just obviously so uncomfortable but if you can get over this and bring greater ease to your life for going forward oof, well that's what all this work is all about so i hope this brings you value if there's anything you'd add and please 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 i would ask you do add it in the comments below because this is a space where you know if somebody's watching this video they need a bit of help and if you can if you can help them well it's what this is all about um so thank you so much for watching if you do want to reach out to me you can do so um, best, best platform is Instagram. I'm most active there. And otherwise, I'll just look so forward to sharing with you again soon.